Okay, so here we've got our training coil. I've ran the vacuum line into a valve core tool, uh, into the coil, and then on the other end of the coil, on the other line, service valve, I've put my gauge. So what we're gonna do now is we're down to 200 microns. That's below 250, I'm happy with it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and isolate the vacuum source, turn my alarm on, and it is on alarm high. It's got a timer there. Okay, I'm leaving this open. I've had people ask me why I do it this way sometimes. If it passes its test, 10 minutes. Well, the next step's gonna be releasing the charge. I'm sort of OCD, so I would shut this off so that the charge never comes out of the system, making its way in, carrying oil, nastiness, refrigerant to the sensor in my gauge. And it just keeps me from, have, from having to clean them so often but i'm going to go ahead and pause this and and come back in a few once we can show we've passed or not our 10 minute test okay see you so i got talking i got distracted uh didn't come in here when my 10 minute timer went off on my phone but check it out we've gone past 10 minutes and we're only at 582 microns so what i want you to do get a picture okay great that's going to go in desco and now we have the evidence, the certificate of a leak-free non-condensable system. This was just an opportunity to show you the standalone field piece micron gauge. See ya.